So, hi everyone. I thought I would do something slightly different this time and I would do something more interesting. <laughs> Uh, instead of just doing like speed paints and sketchbook tours and stuff like that, I wanted to do a character design thing, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, you may have seen it a lot recently, or maybe even a while ago, because being on time is quite, quite something I'm good at, at keeping up with the trends. This isn't my strength either. <laughs> but. I wanted to do some character designs to randomly generated aesthetics because why not and it's fun. So I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna generate some aesthetics. I'm gonna generate five in total. And I'm gonna pick two I'm gonna do myself. And for the other three, I'm gonna put it up for a vote for you guys. If you don't know how that works, I'm just gonna press this button a few times and then stop. And that's gonna be the first like aesthetic that's gonna be generated for me. Gonna do that a few times. And then I'm gonna take these aesthetics and try to make character designs out of it. And hopefully not gonna be <laughs> in a panic slots ago. <laughs> Retro gay. Vampire garbage. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> I really want to see this one. This is cool. <laughs> Moon hipster. That's that's kind of cool too. I uh, that's cool. <laughs> Vintage witch. That's that's pretty cool. Leaf Mermaid. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Stormy Dad. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, I've, I've generated quite a few. I'm gonna pick five of them. And gonna pick two which I really wanna draw. And... Gonna put the rest up for a vote for you. And... I'm probably gonna see you in a, another voiceover soon while I'm drawing them or something. See ya. So, here we are again. I know for you it's probably been like, I don't know, five seconds? No, not even, probably even less. But for me it's always, always, <laughs> almost been a week. Because um, a lot of stuff got in between and I had to draw the things. So, we're back. So, as you saw before, we got our randomized aesthetics and I picked two of them. I picked Vintage Witch, which is probably already an aesthetic, but I tried my best to make it not like mainstream wannabe witch. And I picked um, Vampire Garbage because that sounds amazing. <laughs> And we had one up for a vote on Instagram, which I'm gonna tell you later what it become be became be got. You know what I mean. And um, yeah, that that was that was pretty pretty cool and made me really happy. And um, yeah, I was kind of <laughs> stunned at first, but I will talk about that later. <laughs> the first thing that I did after I got the the, the results. I guess is I went on Pinterest and uh, made mood boards. Of course I did, because I would literally have been so lost <laughs> if I didn't do that. So if you're for some reason planning on doing the same thing as I did, which I mean, why not? It's actually pretty fun. It, it was a lot of fucking fun. <laughs> you should do the same thing. Just, just mood board is amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to stop rambling and get into the first aesthetic drawing and stuff. Let's go! So, the first thing that I started with drawing was the vintage witch, which I thought of like, yeah, you have those typical um, Instagram gothic wannabe, not wannabe, they're you have like these these classical classical you have like these 
like witch aesthetics before which are like kind of vintage and stuff but like i wanted to go like real vintage like really really vintage because that's like i think that's kind of cool <laughs> so i thought what's more vintage than vintage itself yeah let's go a bit victorian so the first thing i did was kind of like start picking out some like victorian clothing options and stuff which as you can see in the drawing is a lot of fucking lace and a lot of fucking ruffles and I still hate myself for doing that so yeah <laughs> that was not a good idea but it, it looks pretty cool and I wanted to go with not like the evil bad I'm gonna curse you which I wanted to go with like a nature -y kind of like spellcaster like like you, you're you're nice witch in the cabin in the woods back there uh, so I picked some some quite quite interesting um, quite interesting accessories I gotta say but like for the colors of course because I wanted to go with a little bit of um, you know vintage which cool wood stuff um, loves herbs I'm gonna stop <laughs> I went with um, like a nice like dark not really dark but like a brownish pink with a nice grassy green tones and a lot of browns because amazing <laughs> And I went ham on the accessories. I'm just saying my favorite part is those little bug things like the pins slash brooches and stuff because oh, I, I think that's so cool. I want that like not real ones of course, but I want that and like the feathers on the head and like that knife thing. I don't know what it's called, but the knife thing which you use to cut like herbs and stuff so that was that was pretty cool and yeah I'm, I'm, I think I think it turned out pretty well I, I really like that one that that was pretty cool that was pretty cool <laughs> Okay, next off, we have our garbage vampire. And at first I was like, how do I do garbage vampire? I can just, like, how boring would it be to just pick up garbage and be like, oh, I'm a vampire, look, I'm clothed in, in, in trash. So I thought of like a bit of, like, I didn't take it literal. I, I thought a bit about that. And then I, I got to the feeling like, when did I feel like trash? And it when are you even more exhausted? And I'm probably not right about that because I'm honestly way too young to even make a judgment about that, but college. And then I got the thought of what if there's a young girl not really having a lot of money going to college and trying to survive. So we have someone probably wearing clothes which are not new which why probably the black tones don't match they are holding it everywhere and stuff like that <laughs> and i just went with it and i was really happy about that idea so don't judge me <laughs> so i i went with some comfortable oversized clothing stuff and it was i would wear it i really like it and um with the accessories i went with um like ripped tights because I think they look really cool and it makes it look kind of like you know done for it and you know she, she she gave up she gave up and we have some little cool necklace choker things oh my god phone shut up <laughs> um and and stuff like that in general because that's pretty cool and she has some rings and she has really cool hair that i want and and she looks like she really wants to take a nap and i think I think that's a garbage vampire for you. Um, also, just saying, you could also like have interpreted that as um, an hot topic wannabe vampire because vampire garbage. But sure, or like a really over the top Twilight fan who just wants to be a vampire. But out of the way now. Okay. <laughs> Bye.
Okay, the, the next thing was um, the results of the Instagram poll. If you want to be part of that next time, you can go follow me on my Instagram, which is linked down in the description or probably here on screen because I can't stop myself. But the results were the surprise, amazing poof. <laughs> It's retro gay, which honestly I kind of expected because it has the word gay in it and I would have voted for it too. But I was so stunned. I I did not I did not know what to do. I didn't know what to do. You guys literally broke me because how do you draw retro gay? <laughs> and I was sitting around and I was kind of like thinking and I was starting to panic because how do I draw that? I can just be like stereotypical and stuff. And then my brother just said to me, yeah, we did watch Umbrella Academy. How about you inspired by Klaus? And I was just like, you are a mad genius. How do I deserve this? And then I started like searching up and then I remembered um, how the second season of Umbrella Academy played in the 60s and I was like, that's pretty cool, but how about we take the 70s, because I don't know why, and I went with it. <laughs> so we have a character who's probably gay, I imagine, with like really cool clothes, I gotta say, I want that, and he has amazing hair and I'm jealous, but I wanted to like take the pride flag. Which is a weird idea, let's not talk about that. I make it into a shirt and I found like a really cool shirt on Pinterest which was just really colorful stripes and like those muted colors of the 70s and I just went, yes. And I took every rainbow color and made it kind of like muted and took some of the pink. It was, it was quite the interesting experience and um, I'm really happy how it turned out. It's probably my favorite one. Also, accessories are pretty cool, I like his earrings. And don't question me on that walk fan thing, that recorder thing with a telephone in it. To my defense, I wanted to draw the telephone like picked up, he has it in the hand, but I could not, I could not find a single reference where the, 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 the phone thing was picked up from the base. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I just, went with something else and yeah that's that's pretty much it he turned out adorable i'm really happy about that he is my son now <laughs> here are the the finished drawings um like Currently, they are called by their aesthetic names, but uh, you are welcome to give them names in the comments. Also, I would love if you want to, of course, um, if you would, I don't know, either draw your interpretation, interpretation, <laughs> interpretation of them, or even go on with the, just the aesthetic names and do your own character designs. Please, if you upload them, link me in them. I would be really happy about that. I would love to see that. Also, just wanting to remind again, I probably didn't come up with this idea if I found out where I got this idea because I, I saw... God, how is her name again? She has a really amazing sew sewing channel and, and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure Drawing with Waffles did it too. Pretty sure. I'm gonna link those videos if I find them and I, I hope you have an amazing day from now on. If it wasn't before, hope it's now. If it still isn't, hope it gets better. Also, if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, you can subscribe. If you subscribe, don't get fucked over by YouTube, I mean that was weird just hit the notification bell i don't know and um i hope i will see you again and please don't kill anyone and i see you again soon i hope oh boy boy